so before start coding uh, i will discuss about the project structure uh, the project what will be our project structure uh, in the previous session we saw we saw how we how we can install the prerequisite things which we need uh, for this project the node.js and the postgresql we, in, we install the postgresql uh, with uh, the pg admin 4 and we also see how we can create database with the psql uh, command line tool so if i if i discuss about the project structure you can see uh, in our root uh, uh, order is our directory inside the order directory we will have the src the src directory src which is the main source code directory where you place your application code uh, the application code will be here and inside src there will be the models repository uh, route service and the utils and so basically uh, the models folder contains the data models for your application these are the typically responsible for defining the structure of your data and uh, repository uh, repository uh, handle database interactions and abstract and abstract away the data access layer and next the routes routes are defines the api endpoints and route the incoming http request to the appropriate controllers or services and uh, next services services contains the business logic of your application they interact with models repositories uh, and other services to perform specific tasks next we have the utils utils directory is basically to store utility function and modules here it's the uh, just uh, utility function and modules that are used throughout your application such as the validation functions formatting utilities or any other helper functions that don't fit neatly into the models repository or the routes and the service categories next app.js app.js basically uh, app.js will uh, contain the um, contain the express things we will mount the routes uh, express routers uh, here and uh, it will uh, export the uh, express it will export the express and uh, we also mount the error uh, error middleware here index.js is basically the entry point of our node.js application where you can configure and start your express js servers next we have the config config folder contains the configuration file for your application such as the database configuration or the general app settings next we have the database directory so inside database directory uh, uh, database related code and configuration will be there and inside the reader you can see the connection this is uh, this contains the connection between our application and the and the postgresql database next file will contains the contains the next uh, next related settings and migrations so migrations basically the folder contains the database migrations files each migrations files represents a database schema uh, schema which will change over time we will typically create uh, more migrations files inside these migrations it, this will be responsible to create uh, the tables uh, inside in the postgresql database next we have the node modules directory node modules this is where your project dependencies are installed uh, when you run the npm install and next the package json and package log.json these files contain information about your project and its dependencies okay uh, we will now initiate the project uh, so first init the node project npm init minus y which will create a package.json file with uh, default configuration you can see this is my package.json file and the description it's took from the readme.md so we don't need this long description i don't think it just the order order Next, I will install some packages.
so basically i installed the package here the express the express js is a popular web application framework for the node js that simplifies building web application and apis next i add i added debug debug is basically uh, a popular npm package uh, to debugging uh, to debugging the log it helps you identify and fix issues in your project next i use the dot env package the dot env uh, is used for the managing environment variables in node app it allows developer to store configuration setting api keys and other sensitive information from dot env file and load those variables into node.js application using the process dot env objects which helps keep sensitive information separate from the application code and provide an easy way to configure applications for different environments next i use the eslint package which is the static code analysis tool it helps developer identify and fix potential problems and enforcing coding style consistency okay. so i am not going to broad overview of these packages i already mentioned uh, those uh, package details in my previous video so you can uh, check those videos to know more so i am uh, jumping to the jumping to the code right code so i will uh, i will create i will set up the express server initiate the configuration and next i will uh, i will create the migration uh, which uh, by running this migration i will create the table uh, in the postgresql database and also i will seed some data i will put some initial data into the table by running uh, command by running uh, next command so as i said before i will use the next chase for our database migration sheets and queries so let's start Next, I will create the config file. So, according to this structure, we have the app.js, index.js. Next, I will create the config file.
so you can see the dot env package basically uh, fetch the configuration from the dot env file uh, it's uh, fetching the uh, port from the dot env dot file 